So I'm back at Royalton Ravine. We have Buffalo Flying Disc open this weekend, which I'm going to be playing in. I've played Bond plenty, so I'm not going to practice that. However, I've played Royalton Ravine one time, which was a video I made a year ago. So I'm back about a year later, playing it for the second time. And we're going to just do a little practice round, get the course back, figure it out a little bit. We're starting off on hole one. It is a 300 foot tunnel shot. You really just want to throw something straight, I think. Although there is kind of a flex line. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try three discs. I have a buzz and an MV just to try the straight shot. And I'm gonna try to put the firebrand on the flex line because it opens up a bit left once you hit the initial gap. So I could theoretically forehand flex something up through there. Start off with the MV though. Just gotta hit this gap. I haven't thrown since Saturday, so. Oh, that was too turned. Go buzz. There we go, that's perfect. That's putting easy. So that's pretty much how I wanna play it in tournament. And let's just try the forehand flex just to see what it looks like. I caught a tree at the end, but it's honestly like, it's there. I'll try it one more. Ah, uh, it's too chopped, but it's honestly the right angle. That's way up there. So all the bad shots were pretty easy up shots for par. If I could leave myself one of these, I'd be very happy. As right, a par four, 675 for hole two. I'm just gonna try to keep it out of the rough. Big hyzer with a halo destroyer out to the right. Got a bit of a headwind, so just gonna try and keep it clean. You don't need to bite off too much distance. Yeah, just about made it to the white tee. A lot of headwinds, so tough to get anywhere. I'm gonna try flexing a backhand. I'm gonna go buzz OS, flex a backhand. I think it might be pretty good. Oh, almost. Yeah, so you really wanna make it up a little bit further than this, because now I gotta throw this like, maybe a little over a hundred foot touchy shot, and it slopes down big time, you can't see it. But I'm just gonna like, touchy Toro, just try to get down there and stay safe. I don't want to roll away too much. I think that's okay. I don't know. Try the crystal zone as well, just to see how that goes. That feels better. That's probably better. Seems like I almost threw this zone in. This is probably the better one. Got a little bit of a tricky uphill putt. I don't really have much of a stance either. I might have to like putt like this. I don't even know. It's probably not even legal the way I'm standing. My foot's not behind it. There we go. Hey, not bad. All right, this one's 337, like way downhill. Can't see the basket. I'm just gonna like put my crystal zone on a hyzer and hope it just makes it down there. This is a, this is a tough hole. I'll try the backhand as well, but I think forehand's probably the best way to hit this gap. Just missed that tree. That's down there. Let's just try the backhand. Oh yeah, way right. It's for sure forehand hole. I wound up getting pretty lucky on this one, but it's still not even close to the basket. I don't know if the Anheuser or the Heiser is better here. I think I'm gonna go Heiser. Nope, that's not going in. It's kind of scary. Like falling down this hill while I putt. Ugh, got a log behind me for every putt. It's so awkward. All right, now I gotta go find that backhand because I don't know where it went. All right, hole four. This is 500 feet, but it's 300 to the landing zone at the bottom of the hill. And then you got 200 feet, pretty uphill, par four. I think I'm just gonna pump like an eagle low through this middle gap and hope that it just punches up has the speed to just dig into the hill and then I can throw an upshot from there. So let's go Barsby Eagle. Let's throw it right up the middle. Ah, a little too stable I think, but it's a shot. I see a big hyzer gap on the right. I'm gonna throw a destroyer and just see what it does. Cause I don't really know what it, I honestly didn't think of this until just now, but it looks like there could be something there if I squeak in from way over there.
Oh, that might be a good play. That put it right at the bottom. All right, so Destroyer, the Heiser gap, ended up landing right where I want to be. And the Eagle was like kind of pinched off in that bush over there, like 20 feet that way. So I'm going to make this my play. And we're going to try hitting this up shot. You just got to go flat up the hill. It's kind of up to the left. You might be able to see it. Probably not because it's behind some trees. I'm going to throw my Toro. I think it's like 200 feet. Pretty heavy incline. That's probably putting. I think it's a little short. This is definitely a tricky putt. I for sure wanted a bit more hyzer to land up there. Oh. Yeah, Anheuser jump putt uphill. Not happening. All right, hole five. This one is 475. The white tee's right up there. You got some trees right in front of us. I feel like there's the line they're trying to give you is this left side gap, the highs are up into the fairway. I'm almost tempted to just throw a big Anheuser forehand around all of this because there's a gap on the right and just get up to the white tee. I'm gonna try both though. I'm gonna go up the middle with a zone and then with my jawbreakers on, I'm just gonna throw a big Annie forehand and just try to like fade into the fairway through the bigger gap. Oh, that's pretty good. That's really good. Oh, if I can do that in tournament, that's probably what I want to do. Let's just try the forehand, see if it's any better or worse. Oh, it hit something at the end. Let me try it again. Now that's really good. I like that line. That's the play right there. There's the forehand. The backhand's over there. I actually pushed too far because that's being blocked by that tree, and this is wide open. So I think forehand's the play here. All right, I think I got like 280 to the green. I'm just gonna go zone up the middle. That might be short. Maybe I should have gone with a buzz. Definitely want to go with a bit more glide on this up shot because this is way short. Oh, eh. it's actually a bad reaction. Oh, almost. All right, hole six. We have a very technical 365 to the pin with a lot of trees in the fairway. I'm feeling like it's a forehand. It feels longer than 365, so I'm gonna go forehand destroyer, hit this gap on the right, and just try to punch up there. I think anything through this gap with a forehand is gonna be fine. I might be putting. Made it to about a 60, 70 footer, so either this is longer than it says, or I hit something, or both. <laughs> All right, we got 360, hole seven, 360. Kind of goes left, it's a little blind, you can't see it. Feels, again, a little longer than 360. I'm just gonna throw my Barsby Eagle flat, have it hyzer out at the end. I'm hoping I'm gonna be there. I can't really remember what this hole looks like. That got really lucky. Let's try Firebird. I think a Firebird on like a little bit of a flex here could be pretty good too because it kind of cuts left pretty quick. Oh, that feels so much better. If the basket's where I think it is, that's really good. I feel like this was a pretty good shot, even though I'm way short of the basket. I might've just hit something like this tree that you can't see off camera that's right behind me. Either way, I have a putt. I think I'm gonna go with the Firebird because the Eagle was definitely pushing a little bit too far right. No. Yeah, that's like a, that's like a 90 footer. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure if I've made a putt on camera in a couple of holes, so uh, there you go. All right, hole eight. I think it's about 270. You have to hit this tiny four foot gap maybe. And then there's a mando about halfway down the fairway. So you gotta stay left. And then you gotta get past that mando and push up right. So I'm gonna try Toro and Firebird. See which one fares better. But really, you just gotta hit this gap. That looks good. It's pretty good, but maybe not far enough. Let's try Firebird. Yeah, it's gonna push around that tree. Ah, I don't know. I think there's too much stuff past that tree over there. 
for the Firebird. I think it's got to be Toro. It seems like with both of these shots, I would have been better off pushing a lot more hyzer off the gap instead of trying to ant hyzer and then come out. But I'll take this putt anyways. It's a tough shot. I keep having these like circle two edge putts. I'm not really super happy with it, but I guess it's better than bogeying. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm exhausted. It's 90 degrees. All right, running out the back nine, shooting out of the woods back into the open. We got a par four, 623. I think I used to try backhand turnover on this, but I honestly think forehand is, is best because you need like 350 coming out to the right. And you have like a pretty easy upshot from there, like 250-ish. So I'm just gonna go forehand on like a touch of hyzer and try to pump out to the right. Should have a pretty easy upshot. You don't really need a ton of distance if it's only 623. Just missed that last tree. Oh, it hit it. Let's go with one more. Oh, and I went way too hyzer. Come on, I've got this shot all day, come on. All right, just to see if it's there, I'm gonna throw my Leopard 3 flat with some height, because it might actually be a good play. Oh, that's honestly really good. That might be the play. That went further than any of the forehands I just threw. So I don't know what it was with those forehands. None of them wanted to come out and not hit anything. Actually, the best one was the total shank off to the right. I ended up finding a path on the right side. But this leopard, the only bad thing about it is it almost went into the water. I think this went like 400 feet. Anyway, I have a pretty easy shot into the green here, just a chip shot. I think the only correction to make here is just have it a bit more turned over so I can see the green, but this is fine. That might have been a little conservative. Oh, maybe, maybe not. All right, I'm almost positive this basket was over there last time I played. It's a little further than I remember, whatever. So I'm pretty short, but I had the right width, I'm pretty sure. All right, that's it for the front nine. Come back tomorrow to check out the back nine. It's very warm out here. It's like 90 degrees. Should be a fun tournament. See you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.